So how many of your Facebook friends are your direct reports? Have one of those friends asked you to write a recommendation for her on LinkedIn? Social media is a treacherous sea for team leaders to navigate. So come on, managers, let's talk about social media best practices for managers. These days, it is close to impossible to separate your work world from your home world. So keeping them apart isn't the goal. Instead, you must set boundaries and defend them. As a leader, what you do on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter can have devastating consequences for your career and that other world, your home and your family. Here are two important guidelines I want you to follow. Number one. Use Facebook for friends, not work pals. I bet you're not surprised to hear me express this opinion. Friending your direct reports and your manager will lead to more problems than promotions. It's tasteless for you to share pictures of yourself in a skimpy bikini, and it is inappropriate for a team member to demonstrate his beer bong capabilities in video. Once you cross those boundaries, you cannot return. And if you're saying, come on, Lila, I don't post those things, well, your friends may be sharing those snapshots or summaries of that weekend in Vegas without your permission or knowledge. You could get fired or lose an opportunity to be promoted, one you never knew about because your manager said to himself, this person is unsuitable. Number two, use LinkedIn recommendations sparingly and carefully. For leaders, LinkedIn can be an incredible resource to network, identify and screen new team members, and plot your own next move. It can also be a minefield. Recommend, but do it sparingly. Agree to write them only for people whom you know very well and truly would recommend without hesitation. Be specific and be detailed. Writing a recommendation for a current team member, your own manager, or any employee at your current company is taboo. What could happen? That superstar employee whom you publicly praised in a LinkedIn recommendation could turn into the employee from hell. And managing her out will be even harder because the entire world can read your glowing admiration. Now, if these guidelines feel confining to you and you're thinking, come on, Lila, loosen up. Let me have a little fun. Well, um, uh, you go ahead and have fun then. Post all the pictures you want, tell me everything you've ever eaten, worn, bought, or thrown away, and why it drives you nuts that your neighbor's dog barks when you walk into your yard every day. You're going to have plenty of time to do that because you will have been fired after tweeting something like this. Start quote. This new client of ours whose name starts with an A, ends with an E, and makes things called I blank is driving me nuts. End quote. Just know you've been cautioned. For more information, go to bnet.com.